Hello everybody and welcome back to this um, video which is going to be my first 747 long haul flight on this channel and my first 747 video I am going to make. I haven't made videos in a very long time besides the landings and I would like to start uploading uh, more videos again. We over here in Frankfurt, gate 50, 50 something alpha. And we are going to depart from Frankfurt and go to Tokyo Haneda Airport. This is going to be like a 12 hour flight, but this is going to be an overnight flight for me, so I can just sleep in on the flight. Uh, no VATSIM for today because I'm kind of too tired to do the VATSIM thing. And if we look on the map, basically, my whole, f most of my flight is going to be covered. So, I'm not going to stay for that long. So, uh, let's hop into the flight deck and uh, get this airplane started. So, we are here in the beautiful 747 cockpit. We're flying the Salty Mod. And, uh, yeah, let's get this airplane started. So, let's find the battery switch which I believe is oops no never mind that's the totally wrong switch uh, batteries and you have no external power wait what that's for real wait wait what no we do have external power my bad Let's turn this back over here okay there we go, yes, we got the airplane started. Great, we are getting power to the aeroplane. Which is great, okay, okay. Nice. So, yes! Okay, great. Let's um, finish this airplane. Just start the auxiliary power unit, align the IRSs. There we go. Perfect. Now, what's the keybind? Control 9. There we go. Okay. just released for the uh, 747 and 787 for the um, uh, to make them better or something I'm not sure the AAU something but I still prefer the salty because the default 747s are very yanky or I don't know buggy Go and uh, program the FMC. Control, there we go.
so that's actually uh, perfect. Our flight plan has been complete. FC runs. Uh, was uh, I was gonna say MCDU, but I forgot this ain't an Airbus. Okay, great. So um, I'm actually going to do a walk around, but the things that I hate doing the walk around with FS realistic is really, FS realistic it's really annoying. The FS realistic thing is really annoying. We go now. We can see our camera starting to. I'm actually just going to use the drone camera because I personally believe it's better. So let's just go and showcase. Increase that to like 7. Just go like this. Okay, great. No, actually, yeah, let's start from the flight deck. So, hi, pilots. Yes, the airplane check has been um, outdoor check has been completed. Let's uh, set the MC. Okay, so. If I remember correctly, just turn this back over here. Increase the end range, just like so. Uh, we will turn the beacon lights on. We will. No, we can keep these lights just like so. Oh, I forgot to turn on the engine bleed. I'm such an idiot. Uh, okay, engine bleeds are on. Uh, okay, so as our tug is connecting, we can take off the brake brake, we can release the brake brake, and we will start to push back. Take off and landing. So, full up, neutral, full down, neutral, full right, neutral, full left, neutral, rudder to the right, neutral, and rudder to the left, neutral. Let's introduce fuel to our last two engines, and then we will 
start the taxi. Let's cut the um, video here and see you at the uh, taxi at the uh, holding train point. So uh, see ya. I think this will be right. No, yeah, I think I missed. I think I messed this up a little bit. No, wait, this is actually fine. No, 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 yeah, this is perfect. Okay, great. We are perfectly center line on the runway. Uh, let's uh, take off. So everything has been said. We are all ready. Um, let's turn off the APU. I like to turn off the APU quite late because I've had some engine issues when they randomly shut down. I don't know why. I don't even tell me in the comments if you guys have experienced this before but okay um so forward pressure on the yoke let's bring the yoke back to life over here might need to use my side stick to control the rudder things okay so uh weather radar is on let's ingredient and uh, the clock ain't working but that's fine okay why did l have even have turn off okay drop tools and toe gone Knots checked. Just let that go over here. V1. Rotate. Oh, okay, okay. Nice rotate. So a positive rate gear up. Gear is going up indeed. Let's manually fly this and let's, let's turn out a bit. Car in cruise. So, see ya for now and uh, catch you in cruise or maybe. just woke up and if we check the Valenta map we are over Canada about to cross the border of Alaska going down into the Bering Sea and then into the Pacific Sea to land in Tokyo Haneda. This flight has been a pretty nice and smooth flight so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go to the top of this center in the next part if I record it once I wake up. Alright, see you guys there. Hello everybody, I am back. It's currently 8 a.m. for me. And if we check the Volanta map, we are almost there. Yes, we are literally in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And I will see you guys once we are ready for top of descent and uh, landing. So see ya. 
Hello everybody, quick little update regarding the flight. So basically what I've done, I have changed the runway, um, sit and star. So we have instead of runway 22, we have 34 left, ILS 34 left X via the um, Poly 1 Charlie star. And basically the I cut the Poly 1 Charlie Star by half instead of going around and doing this curve I just directed to one of the final approaches so we don't really have that much flight plan to waste and Hello everybody, another update. We are very close to our uh, final destination. We will be landing in a beautiful sunset evening in Tokyo. We have some fuel warnings and that's because well, our fuel is kind of getting low. Yes, we are descending, so I did uh, mention that I climbed to avoid some clouds and now we are descending to the level 320. So I climbed before level 370 for um, uh, because to avoid some rough clouds for back and now I'm descending back to 320. Okay, so uh, we are just reaching top of the ascent. Uh, let's descend and I will catch you on uh, the short final approach. So, hello everybody again. Uh, we are 28 nautical miles away from the threshold of the runway. It's pretty much pitch black, kind of. We still have a bit of uh, the sun and the gleaming sun in the horizon. We are landing on uh, runway 32 left ILS X <laughs> So our landing speed is 148. Let's bring the spoilers. And let's put the gear down. Oh wait, I forgot my gear thing doesn't work. There we go. Wait a minute. There we go. So gear down. Oh my god, what was that? I heard my GPWS and it just like cut off everything, all of the sounds. I do not like that. It's probably a Microsoft Flight Simulator bug or something. I'm not sure. Let's bring the ND range down just like so. 250 like that. I really do not want to just double check my speed. This is my approach speed, so my speed is faster. Just bring it up to 17 for now. Which will be a little bit faster. Over 6. Two miles will be great. We're good. Energy weather radar off. Yeah, oh my goodness, we have so much crossbow. 37 miles of crossbow. Jeez. Um, I'm a horrible fan of but I'm so I, I am just gonna leave the So, okay, let's have full. Great, let's, uh, let's, let's make sure this is safe. Basically, you can see the engine just spooling and dropping. Look, the sound is really horrible. Uh, okay, we're landing in the area. The replay is on the engine, so we should be able to replay the engine. So, the replay is on the engine, so we should be able Okay. Okay, so, replay. Throw those holes from the engine. So, the last thing is on the engine. I need to be able to replay the engine. Uh, stable. Yeah, the airplane is not really going to. So, the flaps will be configured for landing. You know what? I'm going to take control, manual control. I'll I'll try to do that with the 30 knots of crosswind. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, my game froze. Shoot. That's that's one of the problems. Shoot. Maybe it's a. Uh oh. 
plane ain't doing good on the glide slope. Okay, I'm taking manual control, guys, even though I'm like absolutely horrible. Ah! Continue. Shoot. I messed up super badly. Oh, I'm lagging. My game's lagging so much. Oh my goodness. That was a really late landing, jeez. Really, 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 really late. I am really mad about this landing, guys. Ugh. Okay. Hello guys, so something to basically note for the landing is that I forgot this ain't Airbus when you idle the throttles, the auto throttle goes off. So basically I forgot that the auto throttle does not go off when you idle it, or I'm not sure if it does or not. So that's why we had such a super long float as you can see. And uh, I'm just gonna leave it here and uh, enjoy this horrible landing. Yeah, I think that shall be it. Alright, bye-bye.